Hi, this is Mark Critchfield with Slurry Solutions. I'm going to be putting on a short demonstration to show the effectiveness of the slurry sup bentonite based flocculants in removing suspended solids in concrete slurry water. What I have here is two identical batches of concrete slurry. The slurry sup is a bentonite based flocculant that has sodium bentonite and a blend of pH reducing granular acids and granular polymer. What this will do is when blended with water it will cause a flocculation or coagulation of the concrete wastewater. You can see I put in equal amounts with no mixing. The key for this to work is we need good agitation. This product works by hydration of the clay. It creates a large surface area of platelets that create a negative charge. The suspended particles are a positive charge and they stick together like magnets. But without stirring the heavy clay will just sink to the bottom and we won't get any any uh, separation. So I will mix I will mix this one to show how the flock begins to grow. It has to make contact with the suspended particles and they stick to the clay. The polymer encapsulates causing also causing flocculation and in turn water clarity. So you can see in just a short amount of time we're getting large flock particles of the cement solids and quick settling of the suspended solids. This is, this is what we're trying to achieve. The more we mix this the larger the particles become because they continue to make contact with each other and the smaller particles stick to the larger platelets and continue to grow. This increases the flock size. It also uh, increases the clarity of the water. So what we have here is a slurry that has been settled out. It's been encapsulated heavy metals have been encapsulated in clear water for reuse or proper discharge. You can see in the other where we did not agitate now without adding any more product I will finish the flocculation only by mixing. So this remember this is the key to make this work. We either need to mix it by paddle by air injection or actually using a pump for agitation. But you can see we have to have the good mixing for clarity. I hope this explains the slurry set product. We will now discuss the slurry dry.